ever wonder if you could rely less on the power company? You know, store your own solar energy, keep things running when the grid, well, when it goes down. It's definitely appealing, yeah. And home batteries are really moving from niche to uh, something more mainstream. Exactly. And Tesla's Powerwall often comes up first. So mm. if you're asking yourself, is the Powerwall 3 the answer for my energy goals, then you are absolutely in the right place. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Solar Stoop. Today, we're doing a deep dive called The Truth About the Tesla Powerwall 3. We're going to cover quite a bit what it is, how it actually works day to day, the backup function. And the big ones costs, potential savings, and naturally the pros and cons. Yeah, the goal is really to give you a clear picture so you can figure out if it makes sense for your situation. Okay, let's jump right in. Chapter one, what exactly is the Tesla Powerwall 3? So fundamentally, it's a rechargeable home battery, lithium ion based. Think of it like um, an energy savings account for your house. An energy savings account, I like that. Yeah. And capacity, how much energy does it hold? Each unit holds 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable energy. That's the key figure. 13.5 kilowatt hours. What does that mean in practical terms? Well, it depends heavily on what you're running, but it's generally enough to power essential things, lights, fridge, maybe some comms gear for several hours during an outage. Okay. And I heard something about an inverter. Yes. That's a major feature of the Powerwall 3. It has an integrated solar inverter built right in. Integrated? Why is that a big deal? It really simplifies things if you're getting new solar panels installed with the battery, less equipment, potentially a cleaner setup. Ah, so it's designed to work smoothly with new solar installs. Exactly. We actually did a separate deep dive just on the Tesla solar inverter, if you want the nitty gritty on that part. Mm. We're checking out. Good tip. What about the battery itself, the chemistry? It uses LFP lithium iron phosphate. This is uh, becoming pretty popular in home storage. Why LFP? It's known for safety, it's very stable thermally, and also for durability, a long lifespan. And Tesla backs that up with a warranty. Yep, the standard is a 10-year warranty. Okay, safety, durability, warranty. Sounds solid. It generally is. But, you know, a little disclaimer. Tech specs and configurations can change. Always, always double-check Tesla's official info for the latest details specific to your area. Absolutely essential. Okay, so that's the what's. Now, chapter two. How does this thing actually work day-to-day? -day? Right. Let's say you have solar panels. Yeah. During the day, they're generating power. If your house isn't using all of it right then. Which often happens on sunny days. Exactly. The excess energy goes straight into the Powerwall 3. It stores it. So you're saving that sunshine for later. Precisely. But what if you don't have solar or it's a cloudy day? Can it still be useful? Yes. You can set it up to charge from the grid. The smart way to do this is during off-peak hours when electricity rates are usually lower. Ah, so you buy low from the grid, store it. And then use that stored energy when grid prices are high, typically evenings or peak demand times, or just use it at night instead of pulling from the grid at all. That makes sense, especially with those time of use plans some utilities have. Definitely. It maximizes your solar use if you have it and helps avoid those expensive peak rates. Okay, daily savings, got it. But what about outages? That's a huge draw for many people. Absolutely. That's where the backup function comes in. You need the Powerwall 3 and its companion device, the backup gateway. The backup gateway, right. When the grid goes down, the gateway senses it almost instantly. How fast is almost instantly? Or fucking milliseconds. It's designed so you might not even notice the switch. The Powerwall takes over, powering your selected circuit seamlessly. So the lights stay on, the fridge keeps running. Your essentials, yes. Yeah. It provides that continuity, that peace of mind during an outage. Okay, that seamless backup is definitely a key feature. No doubt. All right, we need to take just a quick pause here. When we come back, we'll dig into the numbers, the costs, and potential savings for the Powerwall 3. Stay with us. And we're back on Solar Scoop, talking all things Tesla Powerwall 3. Before the break, we covered what it is and how it works. Now, let's get into Chapter 3. Costs and savings, the big questions. Right. Let's start with the baseline. For one Powerwall 3 unit, including that necessary backup gateway and what's considered a standard installation, you're generally looking at a starting point around $14,000 installed. $14,000. Okay, that's a significant number. What if that 13.5 kilowatt isn't enough? How do you scale up? Good question. There are two main ways, and they serve slightly different needs. You can add more full Powerwall 3 units. So another complete unit with its own inverter. Exactly. If you add a second full unit, 
you're looking at roughly another $11,000 on top of the first. A third, another $11,000 or so. You can go up to four total. And adding full units gives you more than just energy storage, right? Correct. Each full Powerwall 3 adds another 11.5 kilowatts of power output. Think of power like uh, the width of the pipe, how much electricity you can use at the same time. More power lets you run more demanding appliances simultaneously during an outage. Okay, so more units, more energy, kilowatt, and more power, kilowW. What's the other way to expand? The other option is adding expansion packs. These are basically just the battery part. They add another 13.5 kilowatts of energy storage each. Ah, but no extra inverter? Right. They rely on the inverter in your main Powerwall 3 unit. So they increase your storage, your runtime, but not your power output beyond what the main unit provides. I see. What's the cost difference there? The equipment for an expansion pack is around $8,900, plus installation, of course, which should be less than installing a whole new Powerwall 3, but still a factor. So if you just need longer backup time, but the 11.5 kilowatt power output from one unit is enough for your essential loads? then adding expansion packs could be a more cost-effective way to get that extra energy storage, that longer runtime. Makes sense. But the final price difference really depends on the specific installation. Absolutely. You really need a custom quote to see the exact difference between adding a full unit versus an expansion pack for your home. Are there other costs people should be aware of? Hidden costs. Not hidden, necessarily, but potential additions. Yeah. Your home's main electrical panel might need an upgrade to handle the system, especially in older homes. Okay. Or... If you don't want to back up the whole house, just specific circuits, you might need a critical load panel installed. And those electrical upgrades add up. They can. Easily a thousand to three thousand dollars, sometimes more, depending on the complexity. It's definitely something to ask your installer about up front. Right, factor that in. So costs are significant. Let's move to chapter four. Incentives. You called them your best friend earlier. Huh. Yeah, they can be. The biggest one available everywhere in the U.S. right now is the federal tax credit. The 30% one. That's the one. 30% off the entire system, cost equipment, and installation labor. You claim it as a credit against federal taxes you owe. So on that $14,000 starting system. 30% of 14K is $4,200. So that's potentially $4,200 less you pay Uncle Sam, assuming you owe at least that much in federal taxes and you own the system, not lease it. That's a huge chunk off the top. But you said don't stop there. Absolutely not. You have to look locally. States counties, even your specific electric utility might have their own rebates or battery storage programs. And these can be significant too. They can be hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars more. It varies wildly by location though. So research is key. Crucial. Yeah. And these programs change, eligibility rules change. We try to help in combrations. Integrate Sun has deep dives on incentives for some major areas like our Austin Solar Incentives 1. Check the description of our channel playlist. Good resources. But always, always verify directly with the official state energy office, your utility website, etc. Don't rely on third-party info alone. Got it. Do your homework on incentives. Okay, chapter five. Let's weigh the pros and cons. What are the big advantages? Well, the big one is energy independence, right? Less reliance on the grid. Then there's the reliable automatic backup power. Huge peace of mind there. Definitely. What else? Potential long-term savings on bills, especially with solar in time of use rates. The seamless integration we talked about, particularly with new solar, smart features via the Tesla app, like Stormwatch, preparing for bad weather. Stormwatch, right? And as we mentioned, that safe and durable LFP battery chemistry. Okay, quite a few compelling pros. What about the downsides? The cons. The upfront cost is still the major one, even with incentives. It's a big investment. Still a hurdle for many. Yeah. And the capacity, 13.5 kilowatt hours per unit, while decent, might feel limited if you have really high energy use or face very long outages. You might need to manage your consumption carefully. Manage expectations and usage during a long outage. Right. Installation isn't DIY, requires certified pros. And integrating with older, existing solar systems can sometimes add complexity and cost, but wasn't always designed for batteries back then. Any other major cons? One incompatibility to note. The Powerwall 3 doesn't work with the older Powerwall 2 systems, so you can't mix and match or easily upgrade an existing PW2 setup by adding a PW3. Ah, okay. So no mixing generations. Good to know. So it's a balance, really. Significant benefits, but real costs and some limitations to consider. That's it, exactly. You weigh those against your own needs, your budget, mm -hmm. how reliable your grid is. Well, this has been incredibly informative. Wrapping things up, the Tesla Powerwall 3 it definitely seems like a powerful, integrated solution. Storage, backup, smarts, 
It's all in there. It is. But again, that cost calculation, including digging deep into local incentives, that's absolutely critical before making a decision. No doubt. But for the right homeowner, maybe someone with solar already or just tired of outages, the benefits like independence, savings potential, that backup security, they're pretty compelling, aren't they? They really can be. It's about whether it fits your specific energy picture. So maybe the question for you listening now is, based on everything we've discussed, what part of home energy storage, the savings, the backup, the independence, resonates most with where you are now and where you want to be? Good question to ponder. And if you want to move from pondering to planning and see how a Powerwall 3 could specifically fit your home, uh, we definitely recommend reaching out. The team at Integrate Sun can provide a personalized assessment. Yep, they can help figure out the specifics for your situation. Thanks so much for joining us for this deep dive on Solar Scoop.